This is coaching tape. This is how you do it with the ability to have that quickness to avoid the blocks, to make the play. You want linebackers that are finishers, and there's no doubt about it. Tony Fields is a finisher. Hey, Browns fans, welcome into another edition of the Browns Breakdown. Nathan Segura joined by the senior draft analyst from The Athletic, Dane Brugler, and we're going to go in the film room to look at the Browns' fifth-round pick, linebacker Tony Fields, a tackling machine who averaged nearly 100 tackles a season in his four-year collegiate career, one that began at the University of Arizona and ended at West Virginia. And Fields, in some way, similar body type, similar play style to somebody we've already looked at, Jeremiah owusu koromoa as somebody who can play off the ball, in space, cover, blitz, and is a surefire tackler as well, Dane. Yeah, not the biggest guy, he's six foot, 222 pounds, uh, but he flies all over the field. He's a smart player. And I, I think that what, really what stands out more than anything is just the instincts. And, and we could see it right here from the start uh, on this play against Oklahoma State. He's going to play, he's playing the Mike Backer spot. Okay. His eyes are trained on the quarterback from the start. Watch, he's basically lurking in the weeds here, you know, keeping his eye on the quarterback, waiting, waiting, waiting to make his move. Uh, he's trying to figure out, okay, finds the passing lane, creates the interception. Really nice job here with the backfield vision, the instincts to find that passing lane. We mentioned it with the Wusu Koromoa. Fields, also a wide receiver in high school. You can tell with the way he snags this ball, the lateral agility, the backfield vision. That's what makes this possible. And then he gives him a nice little return here. Uh, anytime a defensive player gets the ball in his hands, you know he's, he's, he's thinking about scoring and, and uh, the end zone. So uh, a big play, big turnover for Tony Fields for that West Virginia defense. Yeah, and you see, you mentioned that natural athleticism. When we talked earlier, the NFL is moving into a space game. And if you play in this division in particular with a guy like Lamar Jackson and even Joe Burrow, there are going to be many times when your job is going to be to spy and lurk and just try to disrupt the quarterback but make sure he doesn't escape. And Fields does this so naturally. And you'd mentioned going up high point, and he's moving left, and that ball's actually thrown behind him in terms of where he is to make that catch. Not an easy one. That pass was going 10 yards further down the the field and he's seen some of those receiver instincts here with his ability to slip tackle set up blocks and get down the field so uh, certainly a very nice play there and we mentioned just like JOK you got to play in space play well in coverage but you also in this defense you've got to be able to blitz and in the next play we'll see him come off the edge in that role as a blitzer yeah in West Virginia they run like a 3-3-5 defense and so we see three down linemen fields on the edge there uh, the other linebacker on the other edge. So you don't know which one's coming if you're the offense. On this play, Fields is going to come with the, the, the pressure package uh, against Baylor. You see him, uh, it's a zone read off, it's a zone replay. As soon as uh, Fields sees that the quarterback is going to keep it, watch him adjust his path very slightly. Uh, once he sees the quarterback keep it, he's able to evade the running back's block. And then, look, he tries, the running back's trying to hug him, trying to hold him trying to do anything, just slow him down. Fields, he's not having any of that. Gets past him, able to get on top of the quarterback before uh, you know the quarterback can do anything. Blows it up. I mean, really, what I love about this, the short area athleticism, because he has to avoid that running back block and get on the quarterback quickly. So the ability to quickly read, avoid that block, get on the quarterback, uh, very impressive rep here from Fields. Yeah, and you mentioned the, the quickness, the ability to change direction, but also you talked at the beginning that, you know, he's on a little bit of the lighter side as a linebacker, but goes right through the contact and the, the arm that the, line, the running back tried to get on him to be able to make this play and then just finishes it because once he gets you in, your ha in his hands, he's going to get you to the ground. Yeah, it really, this is coaching tape. You know, if you're if you're teaching line, young linebackers, peewee level high school, these first two plays, whether you're spying in space, whether you're blitzing, this is how you do it with the ability to have that quickness to avoid the blocks, to make the play, and, and then to finish. Uh, I mean, you want linebackers that are finishers, and there's no doubt about it. Tony Fields is a finisher. All right, we talked about his ability to cover blitz, and we saw in the first one when he kind of does the spy reading the routes. You're going to see that again. This time he's going to read the routes, kind of disrupt the quarterback who was looking for maybe a couple of these crossers, and then finish the play again, going up, showing that closing speed and the sure tackling. 
Right. And again, that pressure package from West Virginia, he's lined up on the edge. You don't know if he's coming or not, but instead of blitzing, he does drop and he is going to spy here. Look at him. He sees the tight end crossing. He's able to cover that up, but also keeping his eyes on the quarterback. He knows Sam Ellinger just as likely to tuck the ball and run it as he is to pass it. So he does a really nice job here, picking up the tight end, but also keeping an eye on the quarterback, remains focused on what Ellinger is going to do. Another play where you're seeing the instincts, you're seeing the vision, and again, the finish. Tackles through the quarterback, gets him on the ground. Just a guy that, again, you trust him to finish every time he's on the field. And Fields is a guy likely as a rookie, Dane, to make his impact on special teams. I expect that he'll become Mike Prefer's best friend throughout camp. But you can see those natural instincts, that space playing that lends itself to really kind of where the NFL is going and what Joe Woods wants out of his linebackers uh, in this defense. Right, that's exactly it. He has range. He has speed. Uh, very active in coverage as well. You mentioned the change of direction. He has that. So special teams, that's where he's going to be initially with, the, with that athleticism that he offers. He's going to be able to get down the field, uh, kickoff coverage, punk coverage. But it's not going to surprise anybody, I think, if he's able to get onto the, on, onto the field on defensive snaps and show what he can do because he can stay on the field in any situation. Smallish frame, but when you can play in space, when you can show that you can blitz, you have those instincts that's what really plays the next level. And I think the instincts are really what sets him apart from some of these other linebackers that we see as rookies. Speaking of instincts, the next Browns breakdown, we'll look at safety Richard LeCount, who had a very strong accounting of himself in the SEC, where he was a captain for Georgia. For Dane Brugler, I'm Nathan Zagura saying thanks for joining us on the Tony Fields edition of the Browns breakdown.